Before you guys move on to the next channel, the next video you wanna watch on your feed, if you would like this video, I would appreciate it. It would definitely help out the channel. You could also subscribe and hit the bell to get notified whenever I upload more videos. That'd be awesome. The part's gonna try to fix and get re-powder coated. Um, this thing is just uh, kind of splayed out, if you know what that means. Splays like, boop. Huh. Stop right there. Can line out the gutter. But uh, get cleaned up here. All I'm gonna do is use my my uh, bead. You hear it? Cucaracha, cucaracha. Use this bad boy on top of the vise just to close the gap. Just and I'm gonna hit it and then check it and hit it and check it. So you can see me do that. Okay. It's not even moving. Okay. Uh, put this bad boy, can you guys see that? Heat it up, I'm gonna heat up the side that I actually want to uh, close down, which is here. Don't burn the camera. Well, let's just try and give it a whack and see what happens. Don't burn anything. Nice and easy. Nothing too hard because you don't want to you don't want to overbend it. Yeah, let's take the camera here. You guys can see what I'm talking about. It's gonna be hot now, so don't touch it, Kyle. Don't touch it. Okay, I should have cleaned the grease off of that, but see, see that? That's what I'm trying to eliminate. I need to get it, I mean, it's not gonna be perfect, but it shouldn't have this much wobble. So I need to hit some more and uh, close the gap. Oh, it's getting there. It's, you guys probably can't see it, but it's getting there. I don't know if you see it, let me turn this off. I'm trying to get that flame to go on just the, the tab that's to your left as you're viewing it. Try to get more heat on that and nothing really on the other one. I'm trying to do it anyway. Let me go check that real quick. You stay there. I think that's, I think that's gonna be it. That's all I'm gonna do. Maybe a little tiny love tap one more, but it's, it's really on lock right now. It's looking pretty good, I think. So, I don't wanna, go too much and mess it up, so let's go take a look at it. It's hot. I want to make you hot, hot, hot. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Can you see it? I'll put, use my knee as a, that barely moves, honestly. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. I might be able to get it a little bit more. Um, I'll try one more hit maybe while it's warm. And then I, I think I'm gonna leave it cause I, I don't wanna overdo it, you know? It's looking pretty right on right now. Just do a couple little tappy taps up top. One, two, three. And that's pretty much it guys, that's all I'm gonna do. So this one's done. All right, the next one is going to be, I'm gonna use the grinder, the grinder to clean this one up. So that's okay. Grinder, grinder. I think I looked at this one and I did measurements. This one compared to the other one, even though they're not the same. And I think this is fine. I think all it was was really the bolts. It pulled the bolts out. So I'm gonna reuse this. I'm just gonna get it, I'm gonna clean up and powder coat it. I guess the other thing is uh, this. I don't know how to, um, if I had a metal pipe somewhere, if I had a metal pipe somewhere, I'm gonna look real quick, something round that I can put this on because this is a, this thing's messed up. I mean, it's not that hard to, these things aren't that hard to fix, if you will, because it, it's really just trying to get this thing, uh, I guess the, the dimples are gonna maybe be a problem. Um, but if I can get this thing looking like pretty cherry, I'll just repowder coat it 
unless it's like, like I'm waiting for the parts guy at the dealership to get back to me and uh, I'm hoping I can get that before I go down to the powder coaters and just see if it's worth it for me to powder coat this thing or to get it uh, just buy a new one you hanging out here pup because uh, it's not that cold finally he don't like to hang out in the garage if it's less than 65 degrees. It's freaking bougie. That's my goal. So before you get too crazy, you want to actually always go through and uh, and do a test fit on the bike to make sure that uh, you're not doing too much. And if you can see it, maybe let me get this stuff. Let me put this right here. Maybe like that. So if you can see right here, pretty much, I might have to bring this up like that way. But other than that, I mean, it's really looking, it's really looking pretty good. I might just try and hit this with my uh, my grinder. I'm actually probably gonna push this up right here. Just gonna push that crease right there after I go test fit it real quick, mock it up. Uh, I'm probably gonna, yeah, well, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put the socket down and hit it and try and flatten this out and then I'll take my my uh, die grinder with my like maybe like a 500 600 grit and just try and clean it up and see if i can get that looking sexy and then we'll get we'll get it powder coated so here they are if you're gonna put this thing right here okay that's not bad i'll put some uh, pressure on it so we can see what it's actually gonna look like yeah that's not bad yeah i'm gonna try and push that up that crease sand it up and then honestly I think I like that. That's looking pretty good. Get that piece out of there. So yell at me if you can't see, okay? I'll fix it next time around. Ooh, daddy likey. Daddy likey, except for that little... I'll clean it up. It'll look pretty cherry once I clean it up. I don't like this little tiny end right here, but I don't think I can get that because it's deep in there. So let's see. Oop, too much. Chubuku, man. Chubuku. She said, so brother, chubuku, chubuku. Punch it right, right there. Getting there. Let's get in. Let me clean it up with the die grinder and we'll see what we can do. This one's aluminum, so I gotta be really careful with this one. Shush, dog. You crazy. Ruin my video. Here's the handlebar piece. Let's see here. Just light, light and easy with this one. I'm gonna take out too much. I'll probably hit it with a real fine 500 grit sandpaper just to make it kind of polished. So you can get a headlight bezel. Bucket thingy. Is that? Oh, wait, is it actually? Did I legit just fix it? Ha! It'd be so funny. A little crooked still right here, but it actually is all. There's no wobble and it's all touching. That's yeah, pretty cool. The handlebars is really the only thing I, I got to figure out what I'm gonna do with it. 
I think I can clean up the outer parts and have it uh, have it fixed, if you will. I might have to paint. I might just paint the bare aluminum with black paint because I'm not even gonna see it uh, once the handlebars are on it and the end caps are on the bar. So I'm, I just gotta take that thing off right now. And uh, other than that, like, I just gotta do some welding up front on the, the tab on the bottom, the stop tab, the turn stop tab. And then I guess it's a wire guard up on top. That's bent too, but those are really the only two things that I gotta do. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go dig through my, rummage through my uh, bin and drop these bad boys off with the powder coaters if I can today. Telltale sign. So you guys can see it. I mean, it's it's not wobbly. It's nothing going down here. Let's see about this. I guess what I could do is, well, that's just because it's front to back. Let me do something. I'm gonna clamp this down. We're gonna take some measurements from left side to the right side. So hold on. Uh, but it looks good. All right, so let's go over here. I'm gonna kind of look down. Uh, I'm actually gonna look down right there so you guys can see. It's about four inches and, hmm, uh, one eighth, four and an eighth? No, almost four and a quarter. It's like three sixteenths, I think. It's, yeah, four and three sixteenths on that side. And then here's this side. Oh, dude so sick like that is legit about the same so i'm pretty certain that this thing is squared up so i'm just gonna clean it up and prep it all right if it looks like i just woke up it's because i did don't be too judgy okay i had one cup of coffee and that's it the throttle side throttle side didn't really get it too bad so i'm going to try to enlarge this back to round and then i'll paint this the clutch side took a little bit more, but again, I'm gonna try to uh, enlarge this. And really all I'm gonna do before I actually sand and paint, sand mask and paint, is I'm gonna get my end caps and just make sure that they can go in freely. That's all I need. And then I'm gonna stop, because I'm probably gonna crack. I mean, aluminum's really difficult to work with. Even if you heat it up, it's still gonna crack probably. So um, I know that's gonna happen. So I wanna be very gentle and very, Try to be forgiving as much as possible with this and not just hack and whack it too much. So let me get my end caps real quick. Here's the end caps. And here's the part number. I think it's the same part number. All right. Now let's see what happens here. So Oh, they actually pretty much, they fit in there as is. So really, uh, I don't need to do too much. I think I'll heat it up and I'll just barely try to get it um, 
a little bit more back to round, if you will. Oh yeah, these are good. So I'm not even concerned about that. I'm really not even gonna do too much because I don't wanna make it worse and I don't wanna split the ends. Um, so let's see what I can do here. I'm only hitting the surface that is uh, basically unexposed. I really don't even wanna get this thing too hot, honestly. going in there it's pretty much in there as much as it'll go again I don't need to actually do much more so I won't I'm just OCD and I have this little tiny bottom piece that I want to become round again so you know stop when your head is, is the golden rule and I think I'm about ahead right now I'm actually more than fine the dang OCD. All right, that's good. Other side, this one's pretty bad. Pretty bad, but it doesn't even matter because the end cap already fits in there and it'll stay in there, no problem. I don't know how you can, if you can even tell, but it's getting there already. The biggest thing to note is that this is the left side clutch side with a static grip. So as long as the grip fits on there fine and the end cap's fine, I really, I mean, there's, there's no issues with this really. It just, you won't even see it honestly and I'll paint it just to inhibit long-term corrosion. The other side, when I paint it, I'm, I'm gonna actually have to mask off the, uh, there we go. It's looking pretty good. I might just tap it. I'm gonna turn this off. I'll just tap it a little bit here. Yeah, very good, very good. So. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I mean, I don't know if you can tell. It's it's good. So I'm just going to grind, if you can see it this way, this tip is just sticking up a little bit. I want to make it all flush, so I'm going to grind the side real quick. And then I will spray some alcohol. I'll probably just lightly clean this up, spray some alcohol on it, mask it off, and paint it. And then same thing with this one. This is the smooth side where the throttle is actually moving on, so you don't want to get any paint or anything. And, make it rough so this is looking good this is pretty flush right here if you guys can see it so yeah I don't have to worry about grinding this side I will just work on this side and then I'm gonna get this bad boy ready to go so I can start assembling the handlebars today's project is going to be fixing the stop tab right here if you can see let's bring you up a little bit closer here the tab is actually Let's get my fat finger out of there. But here's the whole bar right here. This bar is not supposed to be curved this way. There's a tab right here. And this tab is supposed to actually be the stop point. Um, if I can turn the steering head, you can see, see the light right there? See that little tab on the other side? There's the far right side, right there. So this tab, I need to bring this tab down so when the bar is turned to the left, it hits that tab and it stops that it makes contact right here with this aluminum piece. So what I'm going to do, I think I actually went and looked at the dealer bike brand new. And uh, I mean, it's the same as the right side, the right side's looking good. Basically what I have to do is grind this metal right here off, not all the way completely. Um, I'm going to look at the right side that's still good and kind of see what the, the gap spacing is between the top of this tab and the actual frame. It's probably like an eighth of an inch or something, but, um, I'm gonna look at that and then I'm gonna basically try and bend this piece of metal 
So that way I can re-weld the, uh, the tab right here. So that's the plan for today. I got my uh, cutoff wheel and I got my, my brush here, wire, wire brush. Uh, I'm gonna start getting the area prepped and then I'm gonna have to try to bend this thing here. I don't wanna move this too much on the right side. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna cut this tab off and I will measure, I'll measure the stop point from like the outer tube on the right side, cause that's good. And then make it so it's equal on the left side as well before I tack weld it and then do my final weld. But actually I think if I, if I cut that off, um, I'll have a better chance of actually welding the outside and the inside. And then I can push this up and I can weld that in the bottom. So that's gonna be my plan now. Okay, so while this thing is probably, uh, I guess, design, designed or engineered to be sacrificial, um, I don't know if you can see it there on the camera, but it's a little bit thicker on this side. So I'm going to actually weld a good little bead around here this way, and then I'm going to grind it down, try and get a little bit more thickness like OEM, and, uh, and then I'll be happy with that. So. looking pretty good I think uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try and see how I can uh, get it set up on the bike and weld it in spot weld it at least just to make sure the measurements are good start disconnecting electronics so this is a uh, uh, I don't even know Ducati 255 part number is 911 9-3-1 I'm guessing it's the ECU, um, the main one. So there's a little tiny tab right here that you gotta push. Push tab, I think, where is it? Yep, push that in, right there. Flip that forward, and it actually disconnects as you're uh, rotating the lever. So take that off, and then um, I'm going to, I'm gonna disconnect the, 10 mils on the battery. I'm trying to figure out measurements. How do I determine um, that each side is the exact same, right? Well, I thought, okay, let's, let's assume for a second that this is all the way to the right, this bar. And I put this ruler in here, and I know your angle is a little bit this way. I'm looking straight down this way. So I keep the hash marks parallel with the front face of the triple clamp up here. And so once the hash marks are parallel, I make sure that, you can't see, but my finger's over here. I'm making sure that the ruler is halfway in between the tube. You know, I'm eyeballing it, of course. But once I get the hash marks parallel to the front, I got my finger holding the back of the ruler. I look at the hash mark on the triple clamp right. You see it right there. I'm obviously gonna hold the bar to the right as much as possible. And basically what I'm coming up with is that that's gonna be, let's see where are we at here? Rulers halfway in the bar. I'm looking at 
it's one, two, three eighths. So it's three inches and three eighths. Just shy of three eighths. You guys can see it. All right, kind of hard to do this one handed, but I have both sides strapped. So that way it's as rigid as I can get as possible. Now, again, trying to do this one handed is not really that easy, but let's see here. I'm trying to use my camera as my eyeball, I guess. Um, and so if I do that, oops, can you guys see it? That's that large hash mark is uh, three and a half. And oops, I keep on sliding this thing off of there. Come on, come on. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So, oh, dang it, I just right there. Yeah. Oh, sweet, thanks. Okay, I'm coming. Um, lunchtime, baby. So, trying to look, let's see this way. Put the ruler bisect in the half of that tube right there and then getting it parallel boop diddy, boop 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 is basically just shy of three and three eighths so you can see it right there so that in theory i just want to show you how my method of doing it and then i'm going to eat lunch real quick i'm going to come back out and let's see let me hold the phone here i'm just going to because i can't unfortunately use my vice grips to lock this tab in there because it's like a angle right here so what I'll end up doing is I'm just gonna come in here and I'll hold it with my left hand against, you know, flat against the, the face of the aluminum stop, the bump stop. And then um, I'm gonna come in with the welder and I'm gonna tack it, tack it just like that. And then, whoops, wait, sorry, sorry. Yes, okay, so I'm gonna tack it just like that. And then um, actually the, the gap I think is more like that. Um, and then I'll, uh, I'll have to turn the steering wheel or the, the forks and to the right. And then I'll have to come in with the, uh, the bottom bracket and align that and then tack it all together. And then once I'm happy with it, I will finalize all the welds. So that's the next step. I was going to cut this off right here and fix it on the vise. I figured before I cut it off, I might as well use it as a ground to weld onto this tab. And then before I paint that tab, I'll use the tab as a ground when I weld this on. Did it work? Did it work? Let's see. Oh yeah, boy. There's a little bit of a gap, um, but I'm gonna fill it in. When I ground it off, I obviously cut a little bit of material out. So I'm gonna fill it in from this side right here and uh, I'll bridge the gap. So I'm gonna do that off camera and then I'm going to clean it up and I think I'll leave it alone. Like I said, I'm not gonna paint it because then I'm gonna cut off this bracket here. And I'm gonna pound this out on the vise. Yo, what's going on? All right. That video is definitely getting long. I'm gonna stop it there. I wanna say thank you guys for watching. I really, I truly appreciate it. Um, my old, vi the videos in this series are starting to get a little bit more views and that's pretty sweet. If you guys would definitely give it a thumbs up like I put in the front of the video, please, it'll help me out big time and subscribe if you like this stuff. Um, so what I wanted to say is that the next video will include the uh, ignition lock. That's what that tab is in the front of the frame head. It's gonna include that repair and then the painting of the, uh, the stop tab, left and right stop tab, and then the ignition lock. So that'll be uh, the first part of the next video, which will be part five. And then I'm gonna include unboxing all the parts that I got from the dealership. And then if I can do it, I'm gonna try to put everything on the bike in part five. If it gets really long, I'm gonna try and keep that, that one around 20. Um, you know, it's not really a how to, I do kind of give some tips and hints there, but uh, it, I'll see what I can do. I'm tr gonna try to not make a part six of parts installation because I think this is kind of getting out of hand. Um, but you know, if, if that's what it is, it is what it is. And then I'll try and do part six with maybe some little bit of installation of, of final stuff. And then kind of like doing uh, maybe safety checks 
and uh, and a detail in if I can do that as well. Final detail. Part seven will maybe be a a test with a little bit of narration. I'll have my helmet and I'll have my microphone inside, so we'll go for a ride and check it all out. And then part eight, I'm hoping, will be including the new seller if they want to be videotaped. If not, it'll be them heading out the driveway, but basically telling you what the bike went for and doing my cost breakdown so you guys can see what it took from the wallet, how much did I get back. So as always with the recent videos here and what I want to do down the road is tell you what it took to do this video. So I had about two and a half hours of actual footage, right? There's more work beyond that, but a time that is, um, but I had two and a half hours of footage. And then it took me about nine hours to edit all the footage and the total length will be a little bit over 30 minutes. I don't know, 31 minutes maybe, I'm guessing, right? So with that, thank you guys again. I hope you en are enjoying this series and I hope you enjoy the remaining videos of it and then whatever may be after that. All right, until next time, peace.